What's up, y'all? I was just doing a little prep for a Brewing Basics class I'm teaching this weekend, and it got me inspired to do a little video on lesson planning and keeping training simple. Coffee is really complex, and it's one of the reasons I love working with it. There's always a new adventure to be had, but the industry is also really young, and a lot of baristas and roasters don't really feel like people understand how complex our product is. And what I see from a lot of educators and trainers is in their lesson planning, they're trying to show everyone how complex, how intricate, how special this coffee industry really is, and what that leads to is a bunch of unnecessary fluff in their lesson plan. It almost comes off as sort of a chest puffing machismo kind of thing. Look at what I know, look at how crazy this product is, you'll never understand it, and it's to the student's detriment. What I recommend for beginning training, and this will apply to barista training, or manual brew method training is sticking to what I call the big four. So the big four are dose, yield, and or water weight, depending on whether you're talking about espresso or like a pour over, grind setting, and brew time. Yes, there's tons of other factors that affect coffee extraction, but these four are the easiest to swallow, and if you pair the big four with a little bit of technique work, you will get someone from absolute beginner to feeling really good about what they're doing and making really awesome coffee. The truth of the matter is, you don't need to know all of that extra stuff to make a cup of coffee that tastes good. And another important thing to remember is that if you have a trainee, you're trying to empower them. You're trying to make them feel good about the product that they're serving. You want them to step behind the bar, step behind the counter and feel like, okay, I got this. I can control these variables. I know my technique. I know the coffee that I'm gonna put out is good. If you go the other route and hit them with all the techie business, you might have someone behind the counter that thinks, coffee's so complex, I don't feel confident in what I'm doing because all I'm thinking about is how much stuff I don't know instead of focusing on what I do know. Once their technique starts to improve and you've squeezed every ounce of quality you can by manipulating those four variables, then you can start to move into some of the other stuff. Then you can talk about brew water temperature, pressure variations. You can start breaking out your refractometer on a more regular basis. You can start plugging things into the VST app, but you don't need to do that right away. So keep your training simple. Hand out knowledge in small, easy to digest bites. It's gonna empower your trainees. They're gonna feel better about everything. And you're ultimately gonna get to that end game faster than if you hit them with all that information right off the bat. Slow and steady wins the race. I totally believe in this. Let me know how you guys do training and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. Peace.